Radio Rahim with Anthony Joshua. You see Francis Ngannou on your left looks like a, a big, I didn't call him a big lump. Yeah. When you see him physically, is there anything you see different from what you expected? No, everything I expect, we're all good. We're here now. <laughs> I want to talk about your setup. I want to talk about something that Devin Haney's been alluding to, Ben Davis and Lee Wiley and uh, Baza. What, what, just talk to me about the team, the, the change in the core of the team. Um, as you said, a team. No man is conquered by himself. Team is always important and I feel like they got good heads around them. In terms of Ben, Lee Wiley, Baza, really good uh, really good team and they all work well together. There's no egos. Everyone works well together. So I get a lot from all three of them. You all seem to be working in harmony on that front, Anthony. Is it difficult to adjust though, obviously, with the change, change in trainers over not the years? At all, bro. Not at all. Um, remember, boxing fundamentals are always going to be the same, but in terms of approach and style, that's just down to each trainer. So I feel like I've gained more by going than staying. Otto Wallen was saying that me changing trainers doesn't make sense. It's stupid. He's been with his training for so long, but it worked for me. So I think it's been a massive benefit. Anthony, what did you make of the news yesterday as well about Dillian White and the Texas Commission clearing him to continue his boxing career after you two were scheduled to have your rematch prior to the positive test? Yeah, if he's clear, let's get it on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll fight, Dylan. You know me, I'll fight. I, I just, I enjoy, I, I, is, I just enjoy fighting. I enjoy the lifestyle. Uh, it gives me so much purpose in life. So, I'll fight Dylan. I'll fight everyone. One more from me, AJ. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about the big events coming to Saudi, yeah. and a lot of concern that maybe in the UK they're going to start missing out. Yeah. Do you think that you'll go back to the UK, or do you I have think? To speak to my promoter and management team. And <laughs> I just get told where and what to do, and I do it. I just stay dedicated to my training. So yeah, whatever they want me, wherever they want me, you know I'll be there. After the Fury fight, yeah. so many people are giving Ngannou credit, like he's a contender in the heavyweight division, but on paper, he's still 0-1. Yeah. Shouldn't this be a mismatch? On paper, but there's reality in it. Look at how I came up in the game. I came out of nowhere. In three years, got myself to the Olympics, became Olympic champion. In three years as a professional, became world champion. So stranger things have happened in life. And, uh, but I'm here, I'm a different beast, and I'm ready. You know how hard it is to get credit from boxing fans. If you do knock out in Ghana, especially early, do you feel like you'll get the credit deserved for that win? I, I'm not focused on any credit from anyone. Never have, never will. It's all about me. As I said, I enjoy fighting, and that's all I do it for, you know. Um, it's something within me, I can't explain it, but I just feel like I've got a great opportunity to travel the world, express myself through this beautiful sport that I love and uh, it challenges me but I learn so much about myself and that's all I care about is how far I'm going to push myself in the sport. You saw Big questions. John Fury. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, if all he said about you, I was shocked at uh, how cordial you were. What is the relationship there and why were you so nice in that moment? I have nothing bad to say about John. John's an older guy. In my culture, it's about respecting your elders. So. That's how I've been raised, always respect your elders. And John is an elder man, regardless. Some of the elders in my family and so on, they're not all nice people, they're moody, grumpy. But we still have to say yes, uncle, no uncle, whatever, all that type of stuff. So it's just part of our culture and John's an older guy and I respect him for that. Hey, you can ask one, obviously, when I speak to casual fans in the boxing game, when I speak to guys here in Saudi Arabia, they seem to think it's whoever lands first in this fight. Is yes. it as simple as that, AJ? Depends what shot. We're going to be landing a lot of shots. Um, but yeah, there is a possibility. There is a big possibility of whoever lands first. I've been around Ben Davis and Lee Wilder quite a lot in camp, and I've seen how analytical they are. They watch tape. Is 10 rounds with the Tyson Fury fight in Ghana, is that enough to really break down his boxing ability, what you've seen so far? You'd have, you have to ask Lee Wiley, Ben Davison. I just do the drills that they tell me to do. I'm not going to talk too much on what, what we watch and study. That's, that's down to them to do all that work. But for me, I'm just happy to get the fight done, and I've got to fight with passion. Uh, at the end of the day, textbook fighting is one thing, but passionate fighting is another, and I'm going in there to be relentless. Last question, guys. We've got to you move on. You seem happy. You've got a smile on your face. You seem in a very, very good place. And when you're in a good place, we know the type of AJ we're going to get, and we're going to get explosive AJ. So knockout chaos is what this is called. Knockout chaos. Can we expect a knockout from you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much. If this is road to undisputed, could you imagine that an MMA fighter with no wins would be your last hurdle to becoming undisputed? That's what I say. In this world, yeah, you can plan whatever you want in life, but 
God in the universe is the best planner because you just never know what's going to happen. You plan to go this route and a curveball gets thrown in there. So I've just been ready for whatever, whenever, and I'm here ready for this competition, but I'll still be on course where I need to get to. Thank you. Good luck Saturday night or Friday night. Radio Rahim with Anthony Joshua.